All right, so we are making breakfast. Um, it's not really breakfast because it's like, what, one o'clock? Um, that's breakfast for me, okay? So I kind of just, I took some sausage uh, and three eggs and mixed it all together. And then after this, I grab a bagel, toast it, put it all on the bagel. Um, and then sometimes I'll have like yogurt or a banana with it. It's a really high protein breakfast. Um, this right here is about like 48 grams of protein. So this is how I get my protein in in the mornings uh, most of the time. It's actually really good too. I just do the blueberry bagel from HEB with sausage and eggs. All right, second meal of the day, we have just some ground beef and rice. And I usually put some like teriyaki sauce on it and some sweet soy sauce, but I do not have that right now because it's out of stock. Fuck. All right, so this is a get ready with me, I guess. Putting on socks right now. Um, is this the inside or outside? I really need to buy some more socks. They're like all like this because my dog eats holes in them at the top too. Unfortunately, right now, I don't really like have the luxury of buying new socks. So we're just gonna go with it. Okay, now we're gonna go to the gym. Um, sometime I'll use the hip adduction abduction machine just to like warm up my hips and open them up a little bit more along with like mobility stretching. Um, it seems to work pretty well. I've been doing it the past couple times. I've lifted and it kind of helps just keep them open. Um, I previously warmed up before this, but I forgot to report it. So um, this is like a startup to, I wanted to go for two, no, 3.45 today. Um, Cause my warmups felt okay. I got like, I got like the most sleep I've gotten in months, but this was 2.95. Um, moved extremely fast. I then jumped to 325 just because I felt like if I was going to 345, um, it's easier to make a jump to 325 rather than like 315, 325. Um, getting off the ground, this one was like, kind of slow but the lockout was like pretty fast I then went for a PR it did not work out so what happened here was my form broke down a little bit um, I replay that again just because you can see I'm not opening up my hips and they kind of go, my knees kind of go inward more with my back instead of my legs. I'd rather include this than not because it happens more than often that a lot of people fail PRs. Uh, it's a part of learning, honestly, don't be afraid to fail. Had a good night's sleep, a lot of food, I felt great. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out because my form broke down. Uh, you know, shit happens. Oh, so, and I went into 265 back downs. The first three looked a little fast. I should have slowed down with it a little bit more, but the rest of them felt great. Nice lockout, great up off the ground. Previous PR was 340, and I'm kind of just trying to break that, so I need to go back on program onto a deadlift schedule, I guess. I then went into some accessories that I've kind of been neglecting lately. I didn't really have a specific day today. Um, I feel like, I literally hate, I hate training hamstrings. I just fucking hate it. I don't know why. I especially hate RDLs. They just, they fucking suck. No matter how my form went, my back would just hurt all the time. I mean, I fixed it a lot since then. Um, I've grown a lot, but I just hate them. But I gotta add them in because my quad, the quad to hamstring ratio is just so unmatched. It's just not good. Need to get my quads, like my hamstrings. I went and I did about four sets, like eight to eight to twelve reps. Could have went heavier, but whatever. Then I went into some glute squeezes. I actually hate training glutes as well. I fucking hate it. It hurts so bad. Your ass like burns. Also, haven't done these in a while. I did about four sets. I included some drop sets as well. I put a 10 on there along with the 25, would drop that down, go to a 25, and then non-weighted. At this point, my ass was so 
my ass was just burning. It hurt so bad. I hate those. Uh, I also need to include more like lower back extensions. They're super great for deadlift. Another exercise that I neglect a lot is um, hamstring curls. I don't know why, I just, I think hamstrings just are so tough to train, but I'm becoming more consistent with it. I'm including more hamstring than quad. Um, now, just because my quads are already fucking massive, like I might as well train my hamstrings more. My quads aren't gonna shrink, but I did about four sets. Last one, like slightly to failure, it hurt so bad. Then I did some calves, always fucking neglect calves. Of course, everyone does it, it's like the most neglected exercise. And I also like to superset these with standing calf raises as well, but I just didn't do that today because I was kind of tired. I really want to be slow and controlled with the movement, pause at the bottom, pause at the top, around four to five sets. I finished a uh, pump, I can't really see anything, honestly. I hate training hamstrings, but my calves look decent. They look okay. I don't really want to take the pump cover off today, but I guess we will. Wearing Able today. I got like a little bit of a quad pump, even though I didn't hit quads. You know, um, it didn't go the way that I wanted, but at the end of the day, like, I was still, uh, at the end of the day, I was still productive, and today I was thinking about taking another rest day just because, like, I've been extremely unmotivated lately. Um, I just feel like my strength is, like, decreasing, and that's because I haven't been as consistent lately. Um, you know, things that used to feel easier are sometimes kind of starting to feel hard, and that's because I haven't been consistent, and it's kind of tough, but I just haven't felt, like, the motivation that I used to a couple months ago I don't know like something in my life has like changed and I just like it's hard to find that motivation still like to have people that keep you accountable um and that was kind of like my biggest thing a couple of months ago and now I don't have that as much um because you know like everyone's different places or like whatever and it's hard to like yeah I keep myself accountable but I think the thing that I got used to was having other people keep me accountable and it's something that I really liked and it's how I actually got into powerlifting. But um, I guess I just need to find like a new motivation. I have like I've, I always have a motivation for the gym but it's hard to have a motivation for powerlifting just because it takes out so much of your time and it takes out so much of training like you have to be so consistent with it and it's extremely hard to be consistent with it when you're like when you feel drained all the time or tired and so you take a deload and then after that deload um for me i kind of just started slacking and i guess that's that's not really great um it kind of sucks but you know i just got to get back into the routine of it i'm starting to keep up better with my meals and i got to change that sleep schedule so i did that last night and I'm gonna be doing it like this entire week. Um, get yourself some melatonin. It's also hard because I can't really take like stim pre-workout right now because it makes me break out. So um, I kind of stay away from that. And I used to rely on caffeine a lot. It used to make me feel like I was on crack when I would lift. I absolutely loved it. So that's just hard. Um, I've had like, I feel like I've been in a rut for some time now and it's hard to feel like I'm getting back on track and it just kind of like, it makes me feel worse about lifting, about going to the gym because I feel like I'm not as strong as I could be. This is my favorite song. I love, no, it's not my favorite song, but I love Trippy Red. I love fucking Trippy Red. Trippy Red could fucking get it. I love Trippy Red. Keep making fucking music. Please! Please! Oh my god. You know, his best album is, uh... I don't know the name, but it's with the song Lee Ray. If you're sad, that shit will make you actually clinically depressed. Um, it makes me clinically depressed, so... Last meal of the day, just pasta, ground beef, and pasta sauce.